In addition to interacting with the magic sheets, you have a couple of navigation tools. Keep in mind that your mouse wheel, just like in the editor, will allow you to zoom in and out, and your clicking and holding your right mouse button will allow you to pan. If you're on a multi-touch screen, you also have the ability to zoom in and out and pan using multi-touch controls. And with three fingers, you can double hit, and that will zoom to all, which will expand your magic sheet to fill your available screen real estate. Like many other displays in EOS, we have some configuration tools. So if I touch the gear that's located in that area, you'll notice a couple of options that come up. Near the middle are zoom to all, zoom to selection, and center on selection. So those are some tools that could be useful. Also in the config menu is the lock button. The lock button does a few things. When you enable it, the first thing it does is it hides your edit chevron. So it's not as easy for curious fingers to go in and start making modifications to your magic sheet. So now if you want to edit this magic sheet, you have to first unlock it. The second thing that it does is it locks your screen location. So you can't zoom in and out, you can't pan the magic sheet, and this allows you to interact with a programming magic sheet like this without having to worry about it moving around on you. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this magic sheet. Also accessible through your config menu is your magic sheet browser. And your magic sheet browser will bring up a film strip of all the magic sheets you have available. Not only can you navigate to all of your individual magic sheets, but there's always an add new magic sheet button if you'd like to create another one. Another option in your config menu is the Save Screenshot button. And Save Screenshot will actually allow you to save a PNG image of this magic sheet so that you can take it elsewhere and print it out. Simply insert a thumb drive and put the name of the file and it'll save it right to it. For today, I'm gonna to cancel out of there. A nice option that's in the config menu for Magic Sheets is the limited expanded mode, also known as full screen mode. And if we touch this on, you'll notice that that Magic Sheet will now take up the entire screen. This not only suppresses the button to get into the editor, but it also suppresses the rest of the user interface for this screen. This is a great mode to put the console in if you are building a show file for inexperienced users so that they don't get lost in other parts of the console. I know what you're thinking. Why are there three little dots flashing in the upper right hand corner of my full screen magic sheet? This is our way of letting you know that the console is still operational and is the equivalent of the flashing cursor on the command line. If you're in a full screen mode and you need to exit it, shift and displays will take you back out to standard magic sheet mode. When you're in the limited expanded mode, there are a couple of other things that you can do, such as disable any keypad input and lock the fader page changes.